Christ, now I'm found by the Father. I've been changed from a ruined a treasure. I've been given a hope and a future. I've been blessed beyond all measure. I am counting every blessing, counting every blessing, letting go and trusting when I cannot see. I am counting every blessing, counting every blessing, surely every season you are good to me. Oh. Love 
Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go Anywhere he leads me in this world below Anywhere without him, dear, this joy would fade Anywhere with Jesus I am not afraid Anywhere, anywhere Any little fear I'll never know Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go Anywhere with Jesus, I am not alone. Other friends may fail me, he is still my own. Though his hand may lead me over dreariest ways, anywhere with Jesus is a house of praise. Anywhere, anywhere, any little fear I'll never know. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go Anywhere with Jesus I can go to sleep when the darkening shadows round about me creep knowing I shall wake and never more to roam anywhere with Jesus will be home sweet home anywhere anywhere any little fear I'll never know anywhere Jesus, I can safely go. Anywhere with Jesus, I can surely go.
Hi, the Texoma Regional Blood Center bus is going to be on our parking lot on Sunday, December 6th from 1 to 5 in the afternoon. Uh, you'll have the opportunity to sign up to give blood uh, by way of an email that should show up in your email box shortly. Please keep your eyes open for that. Or if you uh, don't check your email regularly or if it's more convenient, please text 903-821. 405 and uh, say that you'd like more information about being a blood donor and I'll be glad to be in touch with you. I understand the need for blood is particularly uh, critical right now given the situation with COVID-19 in Grayson County. So if you're able to give blood, I hope that you'll do that. Again, the date is Sunday, December 6, 1 to 5 on our parking lot at Leap of Faith. I hope you can help. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Virgie Holbrook. I'm the pastor of Leap of Faith Church. Thank you for coming to worship this Sunday morning, this Thanksgiving Sunday morning. I'm glad you're here with us. If you have not already checked in by leaving your name in a comment, would you do that now? That comment column just to the right. And if there's someone worshiping with you, a child, a spouse, another family member or friend, please leave that person's name as well. It is helpful to know who's with us on Sunday morning. And this is our best way of making sure that we um, have an idea who's with us each each Sunday. If you, if you are brand new to Leap of Faith Church and you will scroll all the way down to the bottom of the comment column, you'll see there's a form for you to fill out. You can leave your name, your email address. We'll use that to add you to the newsletter. And if you'd like to know more about the church or have other questions or prayer concerns, you can use that form to let me know those. Um, I'm the only person who sees that, so please feel free to be candid. And I promise you we will use your email only for newsletter or other valid communication purposes if you, if you will leave us that information. We have a number of announcements this morning. November is thanks and giving month at Leap of Faith Church. Uh, you've been hearing about the gifts for Meals on Wheels and Parent Learning Center, our near neighbors just down the road. And my thanks to those who've already given. There's a list of those needs in our newsletter on the Facebook page as well, the Leap of Faith, Faith Leap of Faith Church Faith Facebook page if you'd like to participate in that mission outreach activity. We have the Texoma Regional Blood Bank Blood Mobile coming on Sunday the 6th of December from 1 to 5. They'll be on our parking lot. You should have received an announcement uh, of the, of the sign-up opportunities in your email box on Friday. I hope that if you're able to give blood that you will give blood. I understand the need is very, very great, uh, particularly great at this time. Uh, some of you are participating in the Choose a Church prayer project. That's drawing to a close in the next week or so, but my thanks to all who have participated in it. And of course, it is never too late to pray for Leap of Faith Church and other churches dear to your heart. Uh, first thing every morning before you even open your eyes, offer to God the names of those churches and God will take it from there. Uh, this Advent, which starts next Sunday, first Sunday of Advent, we are thinking outside the box. And I'm excited in the week ahead to let you know some of the ways we'll be anticipating Christmas here at Leap of Faith this year. Watch for that. Again, if you would, would like to subscribe to our newsletter and you're not already receiving it on Thursday evenings, please fill out the form at the bottom of the page. Or you're welcome to call me, text me at 903 821 4505. I'd be happy to hear from you. Thank you for coming. Now let's begin to worship. Will you remember this? You are loved, you are wanted by our Lord Jesus Christ, and you are loved and wanted here at Leap of Faith Church. Right now, as we anticipate Thanksgiving Day coming up this Thursday, will you think of something you're thankful for, uh, some things you're thankful for, and list those in the comments column, uh, family maybe, or friends, or maybe you have uh, uh, something that you're thankful for that you'd just like to tell the whole world about. Out. List those in the comments column if you would. And then, after you've thought it over, written it down, or not written it down in the comment column, will you pause just a moment to give thanks to God for all that's good in your life? Um, as the Leap of Faith Band leads us in worship this morning, they're singing a song called The Welcome Table. I invite you to thank God for the blessings in your life and listen to the Leap of Faith Band as they lead us in worship. I'm going to sit at 
the welcome table. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days. I'm gonna feast on milk and honey. I'm gonna feast on milk and honey one of these days. I'm gonna feast on milk and honey. Gonna feast on milk and honey one of these days. I'm gonna sing in the heavenly choir. I'm gonna sing in the heavenly choir one of these days. Hallelujah. I'm gonna sing in the heavenly choir. Gonna sing in the heavenly choir one of these days. All God's children gonna stand together. All God's children gonna stand together one of these days. All God's children gonna stand together. All of God's children gonna stand together one of these days. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days. I'm gonna sit at the welcome table. Gonna sit at the welcome table one of these days. Leap of Faith Church is independent. We're not related to any local church or any denomination. We have embraced since our earliest days the historic confession of the Christian faith that is the Apostles' Creed. I invite you to join me. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now will you take a moment to think over some of those things from the week just past or, or from, from days farther back that uh, some of the things that have been interfering with the relationship you'd like to have with God, no need to speak those out. Just name them silently to yourself and then let's pray. God, these last eight months have been difficult in ways we can't even put into words. But of course, these last eight months, they haven't been only bad. Forgive us, God, the times you dropped moments of goodness into our lives and we failed to acknowledge them or even to see them. It's not that we want to be merry sunshines, our God, but we do want to live as thankful people. So help us, God. Help us give you the thanks that are always due you. Please hear this prayer. Hear our silent prayers of confession as well. And know that we are praying in Jesus' name. Will you be sure, will you be very sure that when you've confessed in the name of Jesus Christ, you are indeed forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. All of us, you, and I'm forgiven too. Amen. Joys and concerns today, uh, let me begin by beginning as I always do, asking your prayers for those who lead our world, our country, our state, the communities we live in, uh, Leap of Faith Church and churches around the world. Please pray for, for, for leaders everywhere, for God's own wisdom. Please pray for those who are ill, injured, suffering in any way. COVID-19 has taken a big bite out of many of our friends and family this week. I ask your prayers for Josh, Elizabeth, for Jim, Pat, Bill, Karen, Leanne, Mary Ann's three family members with COVID-19. Um, please pray for all these people those known to us and those not known to us who are suffering from the coronavirus. Please pray as well for Billy as he gets ready for surgery in the next days, for 
uh, Ethan, who's recovering from brain surgery on November 18th, the long-anticipated brain surgery. He is recovering well. Pray for Lucy, if you will, as she recovers from a surgical procedure in the week just past. For Ralph and Pat's ongoing health concerns. Pray for Margaret, for Dave and Gina's granddaughter, Natalie, Peg's mother, Maxine, Patty, Mary, Laurie. All these people have concerns about their health, and they need your prayers to support them through their illnesses or injuries. We have other concerns today. Gina Monson's family and the death of her uncle, Ralph Brown. We're praying for Tony and Jan Oliver as they've traveled to Philadelphia to pick up that new RV. Please, uh, please pray safe travels for them as they return to Texas. We've been asked many times for, uh, for prayers for schools for our students, their families, teachers, administrators, staff. Our schools are working hard to keep everyone safe and healthy. Please pray for God's help in, in this endeavor. I ask your prayers as well for all those who work in the field of health care, those who work in doctors' offices and clinics and hospitals around the United States and around the whole world. And please pray for those who are homebound in this difficult time. I ask your prayers today for Hunter, Tyler, and Jessica serving in the military of the United States of America, everyone who serves in the military. We have birthdays this week, John Pine on November 18th, on the 23rd, Danny Blackshear on November 25th, Shane Branch, if you know any of these, please call them and wish them a happy birthday. And we are thanking God as well for those who are showing us how to be the church beyond these walls during this uh, challenging time. We are thanking God today for those who are helping prepare worship kits for the children and teens here at our church to use during Advent. Mary Ann Luscombe has been making altar cloths for those kits. Mar Marilyn Lampedi and Dana Hyatt are making cards for the worship kits. Jeff Foreman, John Gessick, Rich Lair have made crosses for the worship kits. Summer is organizing this project and, and uh, delivering the kits to uh, to the young people of the church, and we are grateful to all these people for, uh, for reaching out to to children and teens here at Leap of Faith. We're thanking God as well for those who are helping with preparations for our Advent candle lighting uh, videos. The Guins, Watkins, Lears, uh, Carol Cloud and Natalie Griffin, the Pine family. Uh, it can be a pretty vulnerable feeling to stand in front of a camera, and we are grateful to those who are willing to do it in order to help us lead worship. We're thanking God today for Maggie Helvey for her leadership in worship, which, uh, which you will appreciate shortly. Thanking God, as always, for the Leap of Faith Band. They work hours and hours and hours on a cappello. It's a tricky thing to use, even after the weeks of practice. And they're, they are uh, giving unstinting service to God and to the church by, by uh, working together to bring music to Leap of Faith. Um, I'm thanking God for those who have already given gifts to Parent Learning Center, Meals on Wheels, those participating in Choose a Church, those who've volunteered to drive for Meals on Wheels in the coming week. Uh, so many who are, even even though we aren't in this in this room to worship together, are nonetheless busily about the faithfully about the business of being the church. If you have joys, if you have concerns to share, would you list those in the comment column or give me a call? Text me 903-821-4505. And now let's pray. I need to interrupt myself here to tell you about this prayer. Um, it's ordinarily, ordinarily our prayer of the people is one that I've written, but I didn't write this prayer. I was looking online um, in the week just passed, and I came across this Thanksgiving prayer. It was on the website of the Catholic Health, Health Association of the United States, and it seemed such a pertinent, such a relevant, such an uplifting prayer that, that I thought I would share it with you this morning. And now, let's pray. God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you, God, for the gift of life for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, 
for the life-giving love of family and friends. We thank you, God, for the mystery of creation, for the beauty of the earth that the eye can see, for the unfolding universe that draws us beyond our imaginings. We thank you, God, for the communities to which we belong, for family, for friends, for neighbors, for companions at work. We thank you, God, for the strangers who welcome us into their lives and whom we invite to be part of ours. We thank you for our brothers and sisters of all ages, all races, all nations, all faiths. We thank you for the multitude of ways that you call us to steward the gifts of creation and to serve others in your name. We thank you, God, for this day, for the companionship we share, the bountiful goodness of the bread we break, however we are fortunate to do that. God of all goodness, we pray in thanks for your presence among us and for your promise to be with us now and always. We ask you to hear this prayer, God, as well as the spoken and unspoken prayers we lift to you. And we ask you, God, we ask you, God, to hear us as we join our voices with that of Maggie Helvey as she leads us in praying the prayer that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. If you are blessed to be able to support God's work at Leap of Faith by making a financial offering, please know how much your generosity is, is appreciated. I know that times are tough for lots of us. I know that Christmas is coming. I know that your gifts reflect your love for God, for this church, and I thank you. There are several ways to give. There's the giving button, which I understand has been reinstated on this Facebook page, and I'm grateful for that. You can just click that button and follow the directions. We have the text to give option. Just just uh, dial 903-225-8774 and follow the instructions. Or you can give through PayPal. There's a button on our newsletter on our website, mylofc.org. Or you can just sit down and take out your checkbook, write a check, and mail it to Leap of Faith Church. 5615 North Farm to Market 1417 Sherman, Texas 75092. No matter how you choose to give, we appreciate your gift. We appreciate you and we're grateful. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for the generous hearts at Leap of Faith Church, giving in so many different ways. Thank you for the privilege of sharing this life together and for the privilege of serving you together. In Jesus' name. Amen. This is our last Sunday for a while reading in the, in, the, in the book of Psalms. Today we're reading from Psalm 136. If you have your Bible and want to open it up to Psalm 136, I invite you to do that. We're not reading the whole thing, just verses 1 through 9 and then 23 through 26. This is the way those verses go. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks, give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love it endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, his love endures forever. Who by his understanding made the heavens, his love endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters, his love endures forever who made the great lights. His love endures forever. The sun to govern the day, his love endures forever. The moon and the stars to govern the night, his love endures forever. He remembered us in our lowest state, his love endures forever, and freed us from our enemies, his love endures forever. He gives food to every creature, his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven. His love endures forever. I ask, well, I ask God to bless this reading of God's word. 
What with Thanksgiving coming up this next Thursday, let's talk now for just a moment about food. Every day at my house, every day at my house, we're responsible for making sure that two dogs, two donkeys, three cats, six goats, 21 chickens, thousands of bees, we're responsible for making sure that they all get fed. In addition to the six humans so who, are, who are all more or less part of our household, I know, believe me, that it, it sounds like the bees, at least insects that they are, could surely feed themselves, but they can't, not exclusively, not if they're going to thrive at optimum health. These bees, they have to be fed a pretty precise mixture of sugar and water along with the pollen patties that we stir up in our kitchen. It sounds wild, I know, but yes, in our kitchen, we cook for the bees. We also maintain a farm cart where we sell honey and other produce from our farm. And there's Visions of Sugar Plums, the nonprofit that I head up, where we provide food for 20 or 30 kids every weekend, maybe triple that on holiday weeks. Though I certainly do not take care of all this feeding on my own. We have people and we have processes who help make it possible. Nonetheless, a lot of my time is taken up with food, with keeping those I'm responsible for fed, including you, the people whom God has graciously called me to serve as surely as do those who run curbside deliveries out to your car window at your favorite restaurants. Clearly, I don't cook for you, but I do serve you. Even purely spiritual sustenance aside, there's the bread and the cup of Holy Communion, the feeding that takes place usually, but clearly, days not, clearly nowadays not always at the communion table here in the sanctuary. I am responsible for keeping you fed. I bring this up for a couple of reasons. First, as I mentioned at the outset, Thanksgiving week begins today. Ordinarily here in this very room, we would be having a big Thanksgiving dinner, a big church dinner. Everyone sampling everyone else's specialties from a table loaded with dishes brought from each household. Not today, though. Not today, though, not this year. I am hoping in faith that by sacrificing this custom this Thanksgiving, we will all, every last one of us, be around to celebrate it next year with no empty chairs at the Leap of, ta Leap of Faith Thanksgiving table. But we are having a church dinner today as we offer communion, that holy meal, in three different ways designed to provide options so that everyone at Leap of Faith can choose the one that best, best fits his or her circumstances. We opened this sanctuary this morning for come and go communion. After this service, we'll serve communion on Zoom with a link posted in the comment column here as well as in our church newsletter. And then this afternoon, we'll provide curbside communion to those who've scheduled an appointment to receive it, either here at the church or, or at their home. And we've done that because I, as your pastor, I'm responsible for keeping you fed. And I mentioned that I'm responsible for keeping you fed because as I started reading and studying Psalm 136 earlier this week, I noticed something that I found interesting. If you have your Bible out, you can see it for yourself. Psalm 136, it starts out by offering God thanks for the great wonders that God has single-handedly done, making all the heavens, making the sun and the moon and the stars and making the earth and the water that the earth floats upon and the wonder of God's creation it is indeed staggering. We read about that just earlier in verses 1 through 9 of Psalm 136. We skipped over reading the part of the psalm that talks about God's deliverance of Israel, but I encourage you to go back later today, have a look at those verses right in the middle of Psalm 136. And, and then after all this, the wonder of creation and the deliverance of Israel, then the psalm, Psalm 136, then it gets more personal. The psalm talks about what God has done for us, what God has done for you, what God has done for me. For every creature, the psalm says in verses 23 through 26, we read these words earlier too. The psalm reminds us that, that no matter how insignificant we might feel ourselves to be, God remembers us and rescues us and feeds us. 
And Psalm t- and verse 25 says specifically that God gives food to every creature. That's the verse that I kept returning to time and time again all week long as I studied this, this psalm. What a sure enough enormous undertaking this is, even for God, feeding every creature all across the earth. But here's the thing. When we each morning at the farm turn our chickens out of their pen to scavenge for bugs and such, I can see that God's providing for those chickens. But I also know that our chickens do better when I pitch in with some mealworms and scratch and grain. Everything on our farm has a job to do, and our cats, they're meant to be hunters. They do eat pretty well from the mice and the gophers that are abundant on our place. That's what God provides for our cats. But the cats, they still are healthier. They do better with the little friskies that are in their feeder every day. And the humans in our household, they have shown a shocking reluctance to subsist on naturally occurring acorns and dandelions and wild blackberries and squirrels and rabbits that God provides for us on the farm. The humans in our household, they expect regular runs to the grocery store for hamburger and cheese and bananas and M&Ms. Verse 25 of Psalm 136 says that God gives food to every creature, but we humans, God gives us a part to play in that provision. We humans, thanks to God's gift of free will, we can stand in the way of other people getting what they need, or we can ignore the hunger of other people, or we can just go ahead and help God feed them. Now, I'm aware that one way or another that there'll be cooking and eating going on in the homes of pretty much everyone at Leap of Faith Church this week. I'm also aware that in some homes, the cupboard will be, if not absolutely bare, on the empty side. And not just this week, but lots of weeks. And God, God wants to see God's people fed which is why I am asking you to pitch in in the weeks ahead to help God out with all that, with feeding all the creatures of all the earth. For several weeks, we've been talking about how Meals on Wheels here in in Texoma needs extra drivers for contactless deliveries. If you can help with this on December 23rd, get in touch with me at 903-821-4505. Help feed people who are home more or less alone and who have difficulties cooking for themselves. And if you receive our Leap of Faith newsletter or check in on our Leap of Faith Church Facebook page, You've seen the leap of the uh, list of organizations that we've listed there that help feed people. Grand Central Station Dining Car in Sherman, North Texas Food Bank, Heifer International, every one of them. These and any known to you, they need financial support this season so they can carry out their mission of making sure that all of God's people, all of them, get what they need to eat to thrive, to stay healthy, and to be well. Some of us, we're not going to be spending as much on our Thanksgiving dinner this year as we usually do. Please divert some of the savings to one of these organizations or another one that's especially dear to you, one that you might choose to help feed God's people. I'm going to say that again. This Thanksgiving, this Christmas, it's going to be hard times, harder times than usual for many. Maybe you won't be going to the movie theater to see the Christmas releases this year that you'd usually enjoy. You won't be at the movie theater buying popcorn and candy and drinks that you usually buy to have while you enjoy the movies. Please send a little or a lot of your savings to help God feed God's people at one of the organizations that I just mentioned or one that's especially dear to you. Maybe you won't be doing an office gift exchange this year. Maybe you won't be hosting a holiday party. Maybe you've put your travel plans on hold. Please take some of the money that you won't be spending in these ways and send it on to an organization that will help God feed God's people. Do that. Do that and then stop and give thanks. Give thanks to the God of heaven whose love does endure forever and who uses us, who uses you 
and who uses me to express God's own love. Amen? Amen. I do hope you'll have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you'll have a happy and blessed Thanksgiving in every way, turning to give God thanks for all that's good in your life. I thank you for coming to worship at Leap of Faith this morning. And if you haven't yet given your life to Jesus, if you haven't given your your life over to, to, to worshiping and serving our risen Lord, I hope that you will pray about whether the time is is right to do that. I would love to welcome you into um, into the family of faith here at Leap of Faith Church. I'd love to be your pastor, and if that would have meaning to you, please let me know. Uh, give me a, a call or a text to 903-821-4505, and we'll figure out how and when to do that, how to welcome you into the church. Uh, if you joined us late and haven't left your name in the comments, please do that now, together with the names of those who are worshiping with you. If you haven't liked the Leap of Faith Church Facebook page, I invite you to do that. Uh, we are watching watching worship on the ICE ministry page, kind of an emergency page for Leap of Faith. But there is the Leap of Faith Church Facebook page. It has all kinds of helpful information about the church. And now finally we close. And as we close, I ask you to remember the words of Psalm 136. Give thanks to God, for God is good. God's steadfast love, it endures forever. God's love for God's wondrous creation, God's love for all humankind, God's love for you, God's love for me. That love, God's love, it is eternal. It will last forever. So give thanks. Amen. And go in peace. Stick around for a little bit. Uh, the Leap of Faith Band has worked hard this week, as they always do on providing music for us. I think that you'll enjoy it if you stay to listen, and I hope you will.